There's nothing's easy, you know? Nothing's ever easy. For JT Tilson, symbolism can transform the bleakest canvas. When I'm painting it, I just, it's the one time and place that I feel free. The 23 year old even finding meaning in the pillars holding up his housing complex. And I think that's how you gotta think about life having structure and just being able to build up on it. As a child, JT didn't have much structure to fall back on. I just came from a really traumatizing background that was kind of hard for anybody to understand. I can't even keep track of how many times I moved when being in foster care, but it's enough to just really change the type of person I am. Once too old for foster care, JT learned adulthood the harsh way. It's weird because everything's given to you in foster care most of the time. And then I'm expected to figure it out as soon as I turn 18 or 21. And that's the structure that I didn't have. Fed up with being outside and it was getting cold and stuff. You were sleeping outside? Yeah, I was sleeping outside under the bridge. Luckily, JT found Volunteers of America housing for emancipated foster youth. I've been here for two years. I've learned a lot. Just patience, I think, is the number one thing. That patience manifesting into more than a roof over his head. Beforehand, you know, it was. I feel like I didn't have a lot of people. Blossoming into overdue mentorship. In fact, you like Vincent Van Gogh's stuff a lot. He's a very intense painter. Photographer Kurt Latchin helping hone JT's raw talent into a career. He's very relaxed about what he does. Aren't you? Yeah, he doesn't care. <clears throat> that's that's because he's that solid with it. Overdue stability that JT is now igniting into vibrant inspiration. It gives me life, to be honest. I feel like art really saved my life. Reminding those who started with very little that pillars once built are difficult to knock down. I want people to understand and know that it can be hard, but you just gotta keep pushing. In Rancho Cordova, Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.